The Purple Surgical Ultimate Hemorrhoidal Circular Stapler with Dual Safety and Transparent Cartridge is used in the surgical treatment of hemorrhoidal disease by placing a staggered circular double row of titanium staples in the tissue and resects the excess tissue to create a circular anastomosis. The device can be activated when the handle is squeezed firmly to its limit. There are two size options available. 32, 33 millimeters and 33, 34 millimeters. Supplied and packaged with the following five accessories. A clear circular anal dilator. A clear butterfly anal dilator. A purse string suture anoscope. An anal dilator obturator and a suture threader. When treating hemorrhoidal disease, Position the patient in the prone jackknife or lithotomy position. Insert and remove the lubricated anal dilator obturator to facilitate complete dilation of the anus. Place fixation sutures to the perineum at the four cardinal points and reinsert the lubricated anal dilator obturator combined with either a circular anal dilator or a butterfly anal dilator using short rotary movements, clockwise and anticlockwise. The choice of dilator is dependent on patient anatomy. Typically, a circular anal dilator is used. However, a butterfly anal dilator is available and has been specifically designed for patients with a narrow pelvis, allowing deeper insertion into the anal canal. Remove the anal dilator obturator to allow the prolapsed mucosa to fall into the lumen of the clear anal dilator and for direct visualization of the dentate line. Secure the clear anal dilator into place using the fixation sutures at the four cardinal points. Insert the purse string suture anoscope and rotate to complete a purse string suture around the entire anal circumference, only including the mucosa and submucosa that protrudes through the purse string suture anoscope window. After each suture, ensure the purse string suture anoscope is removed, rotated, and then reinserted. Please note, rotating the purse string suture anoscope while fully inserted within the clear anal dilator can twist the mucosa and result in an improper asymmetric purse string suture. The sutures must be placed at least 2 to 3 centimeters above the apex of the hemorrhoids the distance to be increased in proportion to the extension of the rectal prolapse. Use a 2O monofilament suture on a 25 to 30 mm curved needle when creating the purse string suture. Open the Purple Surgical Ultimate Hemorrhoidal Circular Stapler by fully turning the wing nut counterclockwise. Discard of the red shipping wedge. Lubricate the anvil and transparent cartridge and introduce the anvil head beyond the purse string suture. Then slowly withdraw the device until the purse string suture is visible. Pull on the sutures to close the purse string around the shaft and tie off with a single closing knot. Using the suture threader, pull the suture through the suture threading ports located around the transparent cartridge on the ultimate hemorrhoidal circular stapler. The suture ends are then knotted externally or held in place by a clamp. Ensure the ultimate hemorrhoidal circular stapler is aligned along the axis of the rectum. Introduce the transparent cartridge into the anal canal and partially close the device by turning the wing nut clockwise whilst gently pulling on the sutures to draw the prolapsed mucosa into the stapler housing. Fully close the device by rotating the wing nut clockwise whilst ensuring the 4 cm mark is level with the anal verge. The staple line should be at least 2 cm above the dentate line. Confirm the red line is in the middle of the green bar within the indicator window. Pull the red safety lever back until it seats into the body of the device. The stapler is then fired by squeezing the firing handle firmly in an upward direction. Hold the squeezed firing handle in place for 30 seconds. Ensure that the firing handle is fully squeezed to guarantee proper staple formation and cutting of the tissue. A partial or incomplete handle squeeze may result in unacceptable staple formation 
or an incomplete knife cut. After firing, release the firing handle and allow it to return to its original position and return the safety lever to the locked position. Open the device by one half to three quarters of a turn and remove the device from the anal canal. Examine the staple line before removing the clear anal dilator. To inspect the tissue donut, open the device fully by turning the wing nut counterclockwise. For full directions for use, always refer to the DFU leaflet in the product packaging.